All right, guys, real quick before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know that I am doing a $100 bond giveaway. As you see in my inventory right here, I have a $75 bond, a $20 bond, and a $5 bond. Now, there are going to be two winners in this giveaway. The $20 and the $5 is going to go to the person that got the first comment on this video, so congrats to you. The $75 bond, however, is going to go to a randomly generated comment in the next video, so if you would like a chance to win that, all you need to do is comment your in-game name in the comments below, like this video, and be subscribed to my channel, and also, obviously, click that referral link in the description. Now, if you would like a better chance at winning future giveaways, be sure to turn on post notifications because sometimes I will choose the first commenter to win. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Yo, what is going on guys, Zach here, welcome to another video. Now today we are back on Spawn PK. Now guys, today's video is going to be fucking awesome because we're going to be going over the new construction skill that was just added to Spawn PK. So if you look over here a little bit south of home, you will see that the blood fountain is no longer here, but the blood fountain is over here, and you'll also see a guy here that uh, is the tournament host, which we'll go over that in another video soon, because that's also a new update. Really cool one at that, and I'm really excited to showcase that as well, but for today's video, we're going to be going over construction because this is the newest addition so first things first is if you want a house you come over here and talk to this estate agent and this is where you can purchase your house uh, you can change your house location once you buy it. I'm pretty sure you you have to spend 50 mil on a Remington location first and then you can choose more locations if I'm wrong you guys feel free to correct me but I'm pretty sure that you have to um, you have to purchase that house first but I don't even know if your house location really even matters because like I mean it's always gonna be at home anyway we're at Edgeville regardless so I don't know if this really matters I don't know if this is just like a, a thing that you can say you have but i went ahead and purchased the file door of course the most expensive one it was two bill but like i said i don't know if there's any difference or anything with your house locations but i went ahead and went with the best one possible and then you have your construction supplies here which this is the guy that you talk to with all your construction supplies you guys all you need is cash to start construction this skill is not very hard to train you train it pretty much just like runescape you build the chairs and then you get to like 62 or something like that construction and then you start making mahogany tables but here let's go ahead and take a look uh these are all the construction supplies that you can buy surprise what the fuck? These are all those construction supplies that you can buy. Uh, if you go over here, you can go uh, construction garden and miscellaneous. These are the rest of the supplies that you can buy for your garden and stuff. But let's go ahead and check out my house because I've been working on this for a little while and it's looking pretty snazzy. I'm not going to lie. So obviously Spawn PK isn't just going to make construction without having some custom benefits to it and some dope features. So we're going to go over all of those in this video as well. But firstly, let's go ahead and take a little tour. Here's my superior garden here. I will go more into detail like what all the benefits are of all that stuff in there is but take a look at this man i can just i can just sit on my little bench you know what i'm saying just chill here if i'm ever bored i can just come to my house you know just sit on this bench make my demon butler give me a little bj real quick but we come over here we got the kitchen over here come over here we got the dining room actually you know what maybe we should go we should uh, explore this way first because uh we're gonna end up going that way anyway so this is my other little trophy room we have here and then it's pretty much just blank right here this is where the house ends on this side and then we come over here we go to my little bedroom area and then a small little garden out here this is just the basic garden I decided to just put out here because I mean there was nothing sitting here anyway so just a little outside garden area the parlor area here where you can just chill and sit on the sit on the chairs you know just look at look at the fireplace you know no TV this is medieval times we don't have a, a, any television so we just look at fireplaces for fun then we come over here we got my boss portal room I have it set to the crazy archaeologist the demonic gorilla and kraken teleport and then over here we are back to my dining room which I was going to show earlier but I decided to go back but here's the little dining area and here's my little workshop all this stuff has some custom features in it which i am going to go over but we're just doing a little tour real quick and here are my fighting rooms i have one of each fighting room i got the uh, combat ring the boxing ring and the fencing ring and here's my other little garden with a blood fountain like i said i'm going to go over all that stuff here in a minute and then uh we have the throne room in here you can actually kick other players down your trap door and it'll send them to like the uh the home area i don't know if it sends them home or if it sends them to like the portal but either one of those i'm about 99 percent sure that it actually sends them back to the portal though and now we've got the lectern room i don't actually don't know if this is, is it called the study room i'm pretty sure it's called the study room but uh you can actually make teleports with this stuff if you study the lantern if you have the proper supplies you can make edgeville teleports home teleports and your bounty teleports and then finally over here we've got the altar area so now that there's construction you can only use bones on the altar that are inside of houses and yes uh you do get extra xp if the burners are lit just like runescape so yeah no more using bones on the regular altar at home you got you gotta use a you gotta use a house all right, so now moving on to the custom editions of construction and the benefits that you can get from training it. So the first thing I wanted to go over is the gilded repair bench. Now, basically, for example, if I were to die in the wilderness and I broke my cursed plate bo 
body and I need to go repair it. Basically, owning one of these things allows you to have a 25% discount on repairing your items. So if I if this were to break and I were to go to the dwarf at home and repair my items, I'm pretty sure the discount still applies there. You don't have to use it here. You don't have to like repair the items on this bench in particular, but as long as you own it, you will get the benefit. Same with your bank using the repair option in your bank. You will still get the 25% discount as long as you own the gilded repair bench. Now that's it for that, but while we're in here, we might as well just go over the banner making stand. So if you go to this thing right here, you can pay coins to get random crafts. So you can either pay 10 mil to get one random craft or you can pay 100 mil to get 10 random crafts. Let's just go ahead and pay 100 mil and get 10. And we go to this workbench over here and you can salvage the items and you can get heraldic salvages. So we go ahead and click this and we go from, uh, well, it made 11 for some reason. Usually I thought it would made, I thought it would make 10, would it not? Hold on, let me do that again. Let's try that again, 10. Okay, see it went up, it went up to 53. I wonder why it did 11. Maybe one of the items were worth more. I'm not really sure. Let's see how how does this stand work. I've actually never seen this. Okay, once you pay 10 million coins, you will receive an item each stand. A uh, good luck. Okay, well I already knew that. So yeah, we just salvage the items, and it usually gives 10. I'm not sure why it gave 11, but whatever. I'll take it. But once you do that, you can go home and you can go to the enchanted chest over here. Well, magic chest, whatever. And you click enchant, and then you will see in the tier two section there are two new items in there. The enchanted heraldic shield and the enchanted banner so as you see i'm actually wearing that right now they are custom they don't like they don't offer any stats or anything like that they're pretty much just for looks i mean if you see if we unequip it we don't gain any stats but we do gain stats from the shield but i mean it's nothing spectacular now i did some math earlier and according to my calculations i would say that the banner is worth basically 100 bill and the shield would be worth 75 bill and the reason why i say that is because each of these pieces cost 10 mil and if we go to that magic chest right here you will see if we click the shield you will see it costs costs 75 salvages to actually have a chance of getting it and it says it's a one percent success rate so if you take 10 mil and you times that by 75 you get 750 mil so then you have to multiply 750 mil times 100 because if it's a one percent success rate you're only going to get it one out of 100 times therefore it is worth 75 bill and then the banner is 100 so that's 100 bill okay so moving on to the boss teleport room obviously you can simply just go to your magic tab and teleport to your bosses here but the reason why these offer benefits is because because if you use this portal in particular, say if I wanted to go to Crazy Archaeologist, instead of going to my boss teleports and, just, and then just clicking Crazy Archaeologist, I can just come here. And depending on what type of portal you have, I have marble portals. There is teak and there's mahogany and there's marble. So teleporting to a boss using one of these portals will give you a drop rate bonus. So if you have a teak portal, you will receive this drop rate bonus for 30 minutes. If you have a mahogany, you will receive it for one hour. And then if you have a marble like I do, you will receive it for two hours. So if I were to teleport teleport to the crazy archaeologist I would receive two hours of bonus drop rate from that boss in particular now there is a cooldown for this though you can only do that every 12 hours so if I were to teleport to the crazy archaeologist I will have my bonus drop rate for two hours but then I'll have to wait another 10 hours after that two hours has expired before I can actually use that benefit again moving on to the superior garden area which is this area right here there's only two things in here that actually offer uh, unique benefits and that is the enchanted pool and the spirit fairy tree now there are three options for each of these so let's go ahead and go over the spirit fairy tree so normally you can either have a spirit tree a fairy ring or you can have a spirit tree and fairy ring which is what i have so if you just have the regular spirit tree it simply acts as a home teleport you can just use it to teleport to home quickly if you have just the fairy ring you can teleport to the kazari once every 12 hours which is a mini game and then if you have the spirit tree and the fairy ring which is what i have you can teleport to the kazari every six hours and you can also teleport home as you see here these are the two options that i have so if i were to teleport to the Gazari jungles I can only do that every six hours using this but if I had the fairy ring it would be every 12 hours now for the enchanted pool you can either have the restoration pool the blood pool or the enchanted pool which was what I have the restoration pool pretty much just fully heals your character restores your run energy and removes poison and venom and all that stuff it's just basically acts as a healer but with the blood pool you get all of those benefits as well as 10 minutes of blood lust and this has a cooldown of one hour and then finally the enchanted pool has all of those benefits as well as a spec restore which has a cooldown of one minute and then for your formal garden this isn't anything new but you can also have a blood fountain here which is also at home but i just think it's pretty cool that you can have that in your house now okay so back in the study room you guys's eye has probably been on this thing right here like what the hell is this thing so at 95 construction you can build this thing called a lodge orrery which basically is a thing that you can use to teleport to a random obelisk in the wilderness but at 99 construction you can have the dark orrery which is what i have and that basically allows you to teleport to any wilderness obelisk of your choice so if i were to 
click the teleport you can see here that I can choose whichever obelisk I want to teleport to I can just scroll through here and teleport any spot that I want so that is actually a really dope feature so everything that is offered right now is fully functional as you see I'm in building mode right here if we click build you see there are a bunch of options in here um, you may have noticed that I didn't go over any dungeons if we click these dungeons you will see that this it says this has not been added to construction yet stay tuned for more updates so they do plan on adding a lot more stuff to construction in the future but right now they just have these basic things done well I don't even want to consider them basic but they pretty much just put out all the things that are pretty much important that needed to be put out for construction so this update for spawn BK is super super dope man like I just had to show it to you guys hopefully this was also a great explanation for those of you who are already aware of the construction skill but didn't know exactly how it worked didn't know about the custom benefits to it I'm definitely gonna be using my house a lot oh my god dude I can you guys imagine the live streams in the future when we do goodie bags we can just go to my house and line up there that oh, that's gonna be fucking amazing but yes in case you guys were wondering if you have your max cape or your completionist cape you might as well say goodbye to that until you get 99 construction because that is a requirement but 99 construction really isn't that hard to get but anyways guys the previous giveaway winners for the $30 I think it was, no, it was $60 worth of bonds it was a $30 bond a piece those names are gonna go up on the screen right now congratulations guys just message me in game whenever you see me and I'll also message you on YouTube hopefully you see that and I'll give you a reward and guys do not forget to enter today's giveaway for the hundred dollars worth of bonds and that is going to wrap it up for today guys thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one peace